Hi everybody. Today we're going to do that Piet Madrian project. So I hope that you watched that video. It was pretty informative. I liked it a lot. Uh, and to be honest, he talked about basically the same things that I would have talked about if we were doing this project in school. So because I'm a little unaware of what we have at home, we're going to try this in a couple of different ways. For this project, we're going to start with a piece of paper that's a 10 inch by 10 inch square. So I cut it, you can see how I cut it. Okay, if you wanna do it with a piece of paper, that's great. The different things that we could use to color in are some markers. So I grabbed some red, yellow, and blue markers. I have my assorted acrylic paints. And then I have this little guy, which is a watercolor set, okay? So you can basically use those three things for this portion. But I do want everybody starting with a pencil and a ruler. So we're going to start by making uh, a couple lines going straight up and down. Maybe four on this side. One, two. We don't want these to be evenly spaced. As you saw in his pictures, some of the, the lines that they made were kind of close together. Some were far apart. One, two, three, four. And then when you have that, turn your paper, and maybe we do five going up and down. Try and make sure that these are as straight as possible. We've gone over how to use a ruler in the past. Remember to hold it down with your hand flat on the table. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we have something that looks like this. This is a pretty good start, and we're gonna bring in our eraser to break up all the lines that we have. So we have a lot of rectangles and some squares, but we wanna kinda of change it up. As you see, I drew kinda of lightly, and I didn't start with the Sharpie marker, which I have for the past couple of projects. So we're gonna really make sure that we are drawing lightly for this. And now we're gonna go through and try and erase some of these lines. Okay, see that was like uh, two rectangles next to each other. Now it's a longer rectangle going that way. Maybe we break up this one. So we're gonna try and break up our spaces by erasing a bunch of these lines. Okay, have them all over the place. Maybe we'll do like a nice long one over here. So, so far I've erased one, two, three, four lines and it's already changing a lot. We're going to erase these two up here. Maybe mm, pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'll erase this one over here. Okay. Now it's time to trace. If you have a Sharpie marker, grab a Sharpie marker. If you don't, use a black marker to try and get it done. Okay. Trace this as best as you can. Remember, we're skipping those lines that we erased. Those are no longer here. Man, I wish I picked a better Sharpie marker. <laughs> Hold on, folks. I don't know, but we probably have a black marker in here. Mm, let's see. Yep, there she be. All right. Due to technical difficulties, we're switching our markers. Go over these again. What are you laughing at? My tooth. Your tooth is wiggly still? Everybody, my daughter has another wiggly tooth.